So a rising cost of food is making people rethink and cut back on essentials like healthy food choices, for example. So TJ Anthony is here this morning showing you how a Macon organization is helping sow some seeds of prosperity. Good morning. Yeah, TJ. Good morning, Frederick. That is exactly right. Food insecurity, it in fact, it impacts low income households. People who don't live near grocery stores or people who just have limited access to transportation to those stores. It happens right here in central Georgia as well. Now Grow Macon, they're working to help build plant beds to make it easier for some living in East Macon to have access to clean, healthy and affordable food. Latravia Smith says she loves all of Macon. However, East Macon is near and dear to my heart. That's why she's excited to take steps forward to help sprout changes in an area she believes is underserved through an organization she volunteers for and helps bring grants to, Grow Macon. In this underserved community, um, food insecurity is definitely um, a top concern. The reason? Is because of access to healthy foods. According to health.gov, lack of transportation is one way food insecurity impacts people. So you have elderly people, you have single parent homes, you have uh, homes with no transportation, and you also run into situations where there are items that aren't on the shelf. Grow Macon is building plant beds by East Macon Apartments to give people food options close by. They're asking for volunteers to help put soil in plant beds and plant the plants. The fellowship of people is pretty much what we're recycling over and over, building relationships and resiliency among us and uh, the food security issues. So December 21st and 22nd, you definitely want to remember those days. They need volunteers year round, but those are the exact dates when Grow Macon needs volunteers for this upcoming project going on right in East Macon. Now you can show up to 1108 Eastview Avenue, Macon, Georgia to help out this Thursday and Friday. Frederick, back to you.